Hey guys, so welcome back to episode 3 Portable. Let's carry on where we left off. We're back from Kyoto, our school trip where we were summarily executed as a group of boys <laughs> trespassing over at the hot springs once again. I unfortunately picked the wrong option. I thought, you know what, I'd grab Junpei's ass and make sure his pants don't fall down, or sorry, his towel doesn't fall down, instead of mimicking a cat, which uh, would have been the right way forward. Alas, it's okay. Tonight we're feeling great, which means we're going to Tartarus because Although we've got 11 days left until the next full moon and we have no idea what we're going to be doing that night, we need to do some training, at least Akihiko would recommend that. And, well, uh, we've got a block that remains not quite fully explored as of yet, so tonight's probably the best time to do it, because we're going to be seeing Dying Man tomorrow. In the meantime, let's uh, catch up with the crew, and then we'll reunite over at Tartarus. The saying, earnest labor brings happiness, is simply a pretext. However, there are some people, like Yukari's father, who put their whole lives into their work. At any rate, this will be a great opportunity to learn about the workforce. Good luck. Oh, right, of course. I, uh, I remember we have, like, a careers day, don't we? Or something of the sort coming up as well. Work. My dad did his very best. He was a hard worker and he never complained. Well, that was that and this is this. Well, I mean, he kind of did complain. It was in his final message to you, unfortunately, complaining about his bosses. How can I help you? Uh, I know none of us want to do it, but we just have to get it over with. Just think of it as an exercise in endurance. You can do that, can't you? Vuka, listening to you talk <laughs> in Tartarus is an exercise in endurance in itself. Of course I can. Then let's do our best. Thank you. You prepped me for this moment unknowingly. <sighs> Another event I can't partake in. I never heard of career experience before. Do you think it'll be fun? No, work sucks. Unless, you know, it's something you love. <laughs> In which case, damn it, I picked the wrong career path. I doubt it. I agree, it'll probably be boring. Oh, well then why are you so jealous for then? Calm down. It's on the telly. Turn on the television. Every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. Again. Goodness me. They're getting all the hits on that. Career experience, huh? Who thought this crap up? We don't need to experience how boring work is. Man, this school sucks. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, Jupe, our school turns into Tartarus at night. Although that <laughs> is debatable whether it sucks or not for some people. Boring work, huh? Well, too bad. You're complaining and do your job. Uh, okay, damn. Akiko, I need to be all sour on me. All right, book up. Let's go. No, no, uh, discount at the clock tonight. It seems that's fine. Let's go. Okay, I'll tell the others. We'll be waiting at Tartarus around midnight. See you there. Hey, where's Koromaro at? Just realized. It's not hanging around the lounge. Please tell me he's coming along. I can't call him good boy otherwise. I didn't check everyone's status, but he is here. What a loyal dog he is. All right. Let's, uh, let's decide who we're going to bring along. I can't remember where we got up to, but surely there's only one more boss left, right? Okay, I guess he's coming along because she's low level. Ken, because he's missing out on career experience day, I figure, you know what, he shouldn't have to miss out on climbing up Tartarus as well. And Junpei says school sucks. I'm going to show him why school's so cool by climbing up 200 floors of damn school and seeing what's at the top. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Be careful. I'll never hear the words be careful the same again. 102 grand to start things off. Damn. I love it. Who needs career experience day when I'm going to be loaded just from exploring Tartarus? I sense a strong presence above you, but I can't pinpoint its location. Can you go a little higher up? I mean, this time I have an excuse we just got back to Tartarus, you know? After a trip to Kyoto, so I had to reset my analysis. Kind of like when you kill all the enemies before I determine their weakness, which you uh, seem to be doing a lot lately. I can sense a powerful presence, in case you forgot. It's on the 211th floor. Please be careful. Okay, four more floors to go. I can handle that. Doesn't seem so bad so far. Are you tired? Please don't push yourself too hard. No, we just got back from Kyoto and I had a decent rest there. Apart from the fact that I got executed. So, there's that, I suppose. You're getting close to the 211th floor. Please be careful. You know, in Reload, apparently that's all voiced. <laughs> so, it's okay. They just have to use, like, very of the same canned lines for Fuka. She'll be fine. Man, I have to say, I love that Igus and Junpei's SP meters are almost always maxed out. I guess because I hardly use her Persona skills during regular combat. She's got a lot of support skills. And Junpei, he just has Agi and Agi Lao. By the time I get to him, I've kind of dealt most of the damage myself or with Ken, so he just 
There are He's just a tidy enemies. up, if you will. Be careful. Oh, hey, look. Juno learned escape wow. route. My persona has a new ability. I know, and you don't do jack shit for us. I can now bring you back to the entrance instantly. However, I can only use this ability inside Tartarus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want you to use it at school, please. But that's great, actually. That's very handy. Well done, Fuka. You've now become somewhat useful. I sense a really powerful shadow near the middle. Be careful, okay? Yeah, you've been telling us about it for four floors. Damn it. I just need to get back to the entrance. Don't need your skill for this one, though. There's a perfectly good teleporter right here. Okay, I'm gonna assume I might need to change my party to combat this enemy here, but, you know, I want to still give it a crack and see what our team is capable of. Good luck! Thanks. Gonna need it. Okay. It's Arcana, it's Fortune. This will be a difficult fight. Just a single enemy this time around. I thought it was gonna be multiple, but hey, I'm not complaining. Persona! Let's start with the Zydai. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic start. Thor's always been good to me, and looks like it's no exception. Let us uh increase all of our evasion rate and our chance to hit. I think that's a, a good starting point. Ken, we're not going to be using electric attacks, so you're pretty much useless. But we can try a... No, we don't need to try a cool attack. Just stab it. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not playing craps, unfortunately, though. Aguilau. Let's see what fire does. Forget about using fire. Okay, fire or lightning doesn't work. I mean, I'm just going to... Give me a sec. I'll scan Let her target. scan anyway. I feel like it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. I can't remember when it doesn't work. Okay, well, let's switch uh, personas in. I sh should have had Ken heal us, actually. Harmony. I want to see what Ice can do here. Move up. I suppose I could have taken up the mantle of healer, too. Okay, all magic attacks. It's, uh, it's not working. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take one for the team here. You resist here, so there we go. Ken, that wasn't good. Heal us all. Maybe there's hope for us yet. Um. Okay. Got torrent shots. That's multi hit, medium slash, heavy strike damage to one foe. Strike those dice. Just won't die. Okay, uh, could have been worse. Let's switch back to Thor. He does have vicious strike. Persona! I might start doing regular attacks on it simply because I'm in great condition. Uh, physical attacks will be repelled. I would put you in orgy mode, but unfortunately, you probably won't attack it because it'll be reflecting. Bullseye! <laughs> But that's okay. Uh, Ken, stab it. Please help me. You help me. That one just won't die. Okay. Uh, I feel like that regular attack didn't do that much less damage than the heavy strike attack, so we're saving HP there. Okay, decent, decent. Getting stronger, almighty damage. Junpei Kun is unconscious. One down. Uh, let's, oh wait, I can only do it from my turn, I forgot about that. That's okay, can you? Uh, hoping to revive Junpei here, Providing because support. I want Ken to heal us, rather than revive. Are Attack you okay? and hit evasion. Be more careful. I was try good. being the most careful. I can, okay, Fuka? It's all because of you. You tell me to do so. There's only, but there's only so much care I can take. Regular attack. Go. There we are. A nice crit for us. Let us commence with an all-out attack. Do it. Fatal strike. Probably should have set you to Orja mode. I'm actually kind of worried that it'll implement Tichricarn as so, and then it'll be a waste. And you're the best person to kind of get rid of the reflection here. So, I might... 
Uh, well, increase the party's defense. Here we go. That'll come in handy. I guess get rid of that reflection. And stab it, Ken. Please help me! <laughs> he always sounds so pitiful. He's like, please help me! Ah, oh, God, I can't do it! When he's doing damage. <laughs> oh, no, we missed! We sliced right through the middle. That is unacceptable. Okay, now what are we doing? Because I don't want to... Well, we can't increase our defense again. Uh, let's... Use some medical powder. Why not? Cool. Please help me. <laughs> I swear. Okay, yeah, let's just keep poking it. It'll die eventually. Um, you can do a regular attack now. Definitely just won't die. Eighty-three. Uh. No point in increasing our evasion here. I think. Let's just deal the damage. That wasn't good. And the heals to our team. Who knew a set of dice could always be so threatening? I don't know who came up with this enemy design, but damn. Okay, increased defense at the very least, but now it's reverted. Will this work? Will this extend our defense? Or will it miss? Yeah. Fuck. That's so annoying. Now all our defense is gonna be reverted one by one. Cannon! The enemy is still alive. Yes. That Indeed it is, I guess. But you go to the same I mean, You are going to the same school as Fuka. Alright. Swipe! Yes, perfect, another crit. That's what we need. Let us commence within all Just regular strike. attacks. That'll sort it all out for us. Certainly we faced harder bosses. Watch as we die here. Close. Junpei still hanging on strong though. Probably should have increased our defense there. Okay. We're still alive. Uh, don't know why I did that. Perfect, let's finish things here. Nice. Although, we're missing, let's I guess. Go we're gonna miss out on the XP. And we might do enough... We not, might not do enough damage during all our attack here. Never mind. Why was I concerned? Oh yeah, me and the boys. King of Swords, times one. No one leveled up anyway, so... I'll take care of the healing. Good job, Ken. I knew you were useful. Okay. Tell me, that was the last boss, and that we're about to head up to the end of block five any second now. Fingers crossed, here we go. For some reason, there are way fewer enemies in that area. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Okay, I think we did it. I think we climbed through the entirety of block five, no problem. There are three enemies. Be careful. Just what I love to hear. Persona! This area doesn't have many enemies either. Oh, I can sit back and relax now. They don't have many enemies, but they're blinking red. Oh, there it's weak to wind, too, and enemies. I don't have a wind attack on my repertoire of skills. It's dead end. It's a dead end. I can't, I've never been more happy to see a dead end. I see the boy to the next floor. The path is blocked. I wonder why. I wonder why, too. Jeez. This floor looks sick. And the RGB staircase lies beyond. The path to the next floor is blocked. You can't go any farther. Okay, well, let's grab this old document. Number eight. Get the hell out of here. Would you like to come back to the entrance? Yes, please. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Make it sound so romantic. Uh, let's turn this quest in. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you today? Check our requests. Oh, wait, did I not undertake the old document one? That's fine. I can grab it. It's due on the 29th of December. Uh, unfortunately, I've already got a couple more quests active. You know what? No hurry. We'll give it in later. 
See ya, Elizabeth. Let's have a quick read of it, though. I believe we'll be here in our glossary. I'm leaving the team. I can't break the law, but he won't come with me. Maybe I'll open an antique store. Wait, what? <gasps> the antique store owners. Okay. Team, are we ready to go? I think so. We don't need to grind any more than we already have. Would you like to return to the dorm? Yes, I'm sure people will go missing as well. You decided to stop exploring? Back to the dorm. It's going to be Sunday. Oh, late night. Whoa. Meanwhile, in Chidori's room at Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. I, I don't think we can get any later than this. I mean, midnight. <laughs> right? Technically, it's Sunday because we've crossed over the dark hour. <gasps> Hopefully, everything's okay here. What am I drawing? Why am I? Uh-oh. You drawing some kind of prophecy, Chidori? Uh, uh oh, oh god, Jesus, that's so creepy. What's happening? It has been a while. I knew it. I knew the fucker was still alive. Of course he was still alive. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Are you mounting a rescue operation? Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. <laughs> Jin tossed a darkly shining gun onto Chidori's bed. Don't tell me you've forgotten what your evoker looks like. Well, they got new ones. <gasps> I trust you do not need to be restrained. Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. You must come with us. I think I know what we're doing in 11 days time now. It's finishing off Striga once and for all. Death is not to be feared. You need only fear... Me. Yes, I know. Excellent. Oh, Junpei's gonna be so upset. Chidori turned around as she was leaving the room. It's all his fault. Since the day I met him, I've experienced nothing but pain. And I've become afraid of dying. Uh-oh. Hey, hurry up, Chidori! <laughs> Medea, let's go. Man, when Persona 3 Reload comes knocking around and everyone's got different voices like we have more than one more than five voice actors in the game it's oof. a breath of fresh air i'm sure 20 second there's no school today are we going to be aware chidori made her escape though nope no one said anything so far instead we're gonna to listen to here comes tanaka over the airways to you the home shopping show is evidently about to start i don't know why i keep watching it it's pretty redundant the items i get aren't really useful but damn it i'm not gonna miss a tanaka show hello everyone welcome to the home shopping show tanaka's amazing commodities grammar of your desires i'm your host tanaka with a live presentation of my amazing commodities as per usual we'll show you great items at unbeatable prices oh you won't be able to touch that dial i promise it's not a scam even though you probably aren't using the items i give you Let's bring out our item of the day. It is Auto Maraku. Mysterious card with mystical powers. Ooh, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. But wait, there's more. We'll throw in eight super diet food for only 44,800 yen. Okay, that's great. I'm not gonna buy it this time. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Time. Doesn't matter if you bought it or not. I'm gonna say that we're all sold out. You know, to implement scarcity, to drive up the prices. Sorry, folks. See you next. T Sunday, same time, same channel. Here, catchy song starts up again. Here comes Tanaka. Over the airwaves to you. Shopping program's over. You turn off the TV. Let's get out of here. Let's find out if the dying man finished his story. I wonder what'll happen to Chidori after she gets out of the hospital. I mean, she got out of the hospital last night. Will she be able to live a normal life like an ordinary girl? If you help her. Y yeah, you're right. There must be something that only I could do. Thanks, dude. Chupe seems a little relieved. Oh. Damn it, shouldn't have gotten his hopes up. It's all my fault. I told us all we'll go to Tartarus and we let our guard down. Career experience appears to be routine labor that is performed over and over again. That doesn't bother me, but everyone else seems to despise it. <laughs> yes, unfortunately we do. Tomorrow's Labor Thanksgiving Day, so we get it off. But career experience starts right after that. Bummer, huh? Yeah, can't believe it. Surely we've got better things to do. There you are, Akinari. Hey, can you spare a few minutes? There's something important I want to tell you. I must warn you, though. It's a little depressing. 
dude, I don't want to say this, but speaking with you is pretty depressing on a weekly basis. It seems there's something he wants to talk about. Would you like to talk with him for a while? Let's do it. Thank you. Akinari seems happy. I've been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. Akinari wears a calm smile. So what's so depressing then? As you know, I was having a lot of trouble with the ending. But I finally figured it out. Since the alligator ate his friend the bird, he cried and cried for a very long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. Good God! Yep, this is depressing. You warned me, though, so it's my fault. I've got no one else to blame. His tears became a beautiful lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree with delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. These guys are enjoying the fruits of the labor of the alligator that they bullied so much. Ridiculous. Preposterous. The end. How can you smile at that? I can I, My god, that's horrible. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator did not find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. Because the meaning of my life is not something I should worry about. It's really what others think of my life. Or what I was able to do for them. God damn this fucking music, I I don't hate it. I love it. It's great. It's It's heartbreaking. Who designed this piece, man? It's great. So for me or you or anyone. The meaning of our lives is something that we make but don't see. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know if that made sense, but do you kind of get what I'm saying? I do, but man, should we reward bullying in your story? I understand. I'm glad. This is the notebook. I wrote my story in. It's all I have to leave behind. I wanted you to have something since you shared my last moments. Obtained worn notebook. I'll cherish it with all my life, Akinari. Akinari stood up. My body feels lighter. Thank you for everything. Coming to see me, talking, even discussing the meaning of life. I... I can be glad that I was born. Oh damn! That line hit me. You can understand Akinari's kindness. Your relationship is stronger now. A bond that can't be broken. Not even death can separate us. We maxed it out. I was worried we wouldn't have time to do so. I must have miscalculated along the way. I was like, damn, we're gonna do this in December or something? But no, it's still November. We established a genuine bond, the innermost power of the sun. Our has been set free. We have the ability to create Asura, the ultimate form of the sun arcana. Because you're the light in my life, Akinari. Even though it's dimming day by day. Bond that cannot be broken. We love it. You cannot create Asura, the grand being. I have to go now. So, maybe, someday, I hope we meet again. I hope so too. The hell was that? I can already disappeared into the afternoon sunlight. My god, I was worried. I was like, is this guy like Pharaoh or something? He just freaking vanished before my eyes. He gripped his notebook tightly and decided to head back to the door. Oh my god, that's gonna be like the last time I see him. He's probably gonna be Accepted. dead. You know, I was gonna say, next time I see him, I'm not gonna see him again, am I? He's just gone. Sup? 
No one's saying anything about the hospital. No one's been informed. Where's Mitsuru? And where's uh, Akihiko? Maybe they're aware of what's going on. They're chasing a lead or two. Let's speak with uh, Buga. See what she says about going to Tartarus. Senpai won't be back until late, so we shouldn't go to Tartarus tonight. Thought not. Well, Kormaru, do you want to go for a walk tonight? Oh. He's stretched out, not in the mood. Okay, fair enough. What the hell am I going to do to pass the time then? The arcade! Okay, well, uh, punching bag, I think, since we're still using Thor. You show the machine what you can dish out. Your persona strength has increased. Getting late, back to the dorm. Uh-oh. Are we entering late night territory once again? Hey, who's gonna tell me that we've got seven days left until the next full moon? Obviously, that's not the case here, but, you know, Pharos isn't around anymore. Your room. An alarm is sounding. Sorry to wake you. Fuka, what the hell, man? Um, I'm not sure how to say this, but... Chidori's escaped the hospital. You need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry. Okay. Wait, just me? Or all of us? What's going on? Yamagishi sent something. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Uh-oh. What the hell are they planning now? Other Persona users? Don't tell me it's... Strega. They're still alive. Shock horror. Those bastards! <laughs> Damn, kid, watch your mouth, man. You're still a kid. First the dark hour won't go away, and now Strega is back? Uh, how low can we go? What's happening? How many are there, Yamagishi? There's only, There's only one, one, but... Oh. I thought she was in the hospital. I was gonna say, how come Chidori's not cloaking them? Maybe she's doing this on purpose. Huh? No. She's... She's inside! Uh-oh. Junpei? Hold on to your horses, please. Ah! What's wrong? She's Long fighting back. Chidori? Uh-oh. She's speaking through Yamagishi. Don't tell me she's possessed. I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to do something about it. Well, it's not like I visited you anyway. It was only Junpei, really. Come to me. What, tonight? Uh, Yamagishi. I'm... All right. Ugh, I should have told you to please be careful when you're scanning for Persona users. What the heck? I thought she was... Junpei, do you know what's going on? <laughs> yeah, you're a prime suspect in this prison break of sorts, or hospital break, really. <laughs> Junpei! No, damn it, I, I have no idea. Just leave me the hell alone. Oh, gosh. Don't handle this on your own, please. Junpei? Junpei, wait! Well, you, you know, accosted him with that tone, Yukari. What did you expect? Junpei ran out on his own. This is most likely a trap, but we're dealing with Strega, so we must pursue this. Well, I mean, how much worse can this <laughs> situation really get? And if we confront them, we may gain some insight into our current situation. Please, Please be, careful. be careful. Yes, you too, Fuga. I only, I only sensed, sensed one person, one person but, but the other two, two may be nearby. Indeed. Waku. We'll have no idea what they're planning. So choose your allies wisely. Oh, okay, we're actually having a confrontation tonight. All right. We'll go after Iori once you've made your decision. Uh, who am I bringing along? Well, I guess... Let's... Let's bring you along, Mitsuru. Let's go after Iori. All right, let's go. I'm gonna bring you Kari. Let's go after Junpei. For wind, because I don't have any wind attacks. Uh, last but not least, let's bring uh, Koromaru along for fire. Woo-hoo! Sweet. I think we're sorted. Let's get the hell out of here. Are you ready? I'm alright. Okay, let's go. Outside Tartarus. Junpei is confronting Chidori. Chidori! What's going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you betraying Junpei after all the affection he showed you? It doesn't make any sense! I mean, I know I'm not that smart, and I've done a lot of stupid stuff. Oh god, Junpei. <laughs> You're breaking my heart here. We shouldn't be fighting like this. I'm not a smart man. Junpei Kun, look out! Oh, great. Wow! Junpei barely dodged Chidori's axe. Hey, that was dangerous. 
You could have killed someone there. I think that was her intent, dude. Chidori! Why? Get back, Junpei. It's useless trying to reason with her. We're gonna have to put her down. No, it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. But please, just back up. Do you know how he feels, Vuka? Do you? Medea. I suppose she might because she's in... She's the... She's the Nav. All right. Let's sort this out. Oh, goodness. She looks like she's seen better days. I don't belong here. I... I've always known that. But Junpei's welcoming you with open arms, man. Come on. Pull yourself together. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to shock you. Oh, God. That damage. Kaya was right. You're a nuisance. Yeah, I can imagine I'm more than a nuisance, actually, given the amount of damage I did to you. It was almost half your health. Alright. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's do... Let's do a mind charge, actually. This ends now! Oh, wow. Mitsuru's not wasting any time. She sounds a lot more aggressive. Uh, we'll go for a... Just a regular Garula here. And it's a mess. Fantastic. I wonder what, uh... What our good friend Chidori here's skill is going to be. Should I increase everyone's evasion? Why not? Let's be prudent. Be a good schoolboy that crosses his T's and dots his eyes. Okay. Oh no. A sexy dance. Well, two people are entranced by it. Let's get you down to one third. <laughs> and she's shocked. This pain is insignificant. The suffering my heart bears is far greater. I don't want to do this, Chidori. I don't want to disappoint my best friend Junpei Yori. Kuro-chan's wagging his tail at the enemy. Well, Kuro-chan needs to calm the hell down and sit on his tail. <laughs> Let's go for the crit. Be gone. All out attack. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? You're the one who came after us, okay? I just don't get it, Junpei. The enemy's down. Let's finish this. Well, Mitsuru, you and me. You'll fall by my hand. Come on. At least Yukari didn't try to hold me back or anything. <laughs> Done. Ah! I'm sorry, Junpei. I mean, I don't think there's any bridges nearby that she could jump off of at the very least. Oh, level up, 63. Okay. Bufodine. Perfect. Love to see that. Anyone else? Of course. Isis. Garadine. Finally getting the strong skills now. <laughs> no, uh, what well, we already have Agadine in our repertoire for Cerberus. And Juno levels up too, even though there's no skills left. Absolutely redundant. Chidori! Junpei helped Chidori up. I told you, don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. Jeez, even after all this, even after you tried to behead the man. He's trying to care for you, Chidori, please. What I fear most isn't death. What is it then? Losing other people? What I fear most is... Attachment. Ah. Uh. Once I become attached to something, I fear that I will lose it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's why we only live for the moment. But you, you brought me pain. Pain that I didn't want. Pain that I never asked for. Ouch. Huh? <laughs> God. When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear that my time with you will end. That's why I... I wanted to, you know, cut it off at the pass. Or cut your head off, really. Chidori? I'm sensing... More. What? What is it? It's the others from Strega! Oh no, they're lurking about. Takaya and Jin emerge from inside Tartarus. Please tell me we put on some, like, Kevlar vests this time. I don't want anyone else to get shot, damn it. <sighs> <laughs> so then... There you are, you sons of bitches! Ah, hiding inside Tartarus, were you? Should've climbed Chidori. higher. I see that it is too late. 
You've been poisoned by that. For the love of God, if he fucking shoots her and gets away with it, I, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna be so angry. What the hell does that mean, you friggin' ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I am no ghost. Watch as I shoot this gun. Fate permitted me to live, even though I wasn't attached to life. You might say I was chosen. You bastard. I've made up my mind. I won't let you do this to her anymore. Get him, Junpei. I'll protect Chidori with my life. Oh, God. We can't lose another party member for the love of God. Junpei held Chidori firmly in his arms. Junpei. Chidori, don't stay with them. Come with me. <laughs> Please. Anyone. Intervene. Ken. Dive and take the bullet for her. Look out, Junpei. For the... For, for shit's sake, man! <laughs> Junpei looked down blankly at his stomach. A bloodstain is spreading across his shirt. Junpei. Chidori gently shook Junpei, who fell over. Junpei isn't moving. Come on, guys! I just, God, I'm so frustrated and angry! Don't piss off with that weak ass no. <sighs> Jupei? What's going on? I'm so happy you're awake. We're still in the dark hour. Chidori? Huh? I. I thought I was. And we got a little, a little light version of a Tartarus theme? I. I was wrong. I was scared and I blamed you for my heartache. I never felt that way before I met you, Junbei. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And what is that? You to live? I... I want to be with you, Junbei. Forever. Aww. <laughs> well, I mean, the guy's bleeding out in your arms. I... Um... I... Oh, 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 things are moving too fast all of a sudden. I want to be with you, too. Oh. <laughs> but it could never last. I'm different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. What? Knowing that scared me. Because I had never really thought about dying. Like, like for real, you know the exact time you're going to die? Or... You just know that you're on the path of death. And it made me realize that I wouldn't be with you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is how it should be. You can't die here, Junpei. Die? Uh-huh. What's going on? Oh, she recarved him, <gasps> obviously. <laughs> Should've known. Obviously, that was that simple. Junpei Kun! Junpei! Uh, I. Huh? What the? Junpei touched his stomach. His shirt is torn, but the wound is completely gone. It worked. What worked? What happened? She revived him. I can't believe it. Oh, Akihiko, we do this on a nightly basis, okay? <laughs> Her power is the opposite of mine. Her persona doesn't sense life, it emits life. It also kind of dims it, no, if, we're, if she's able to camouflage herself from your senses. But in order to revive a person, she must... Oh. I did it. She's Chidori! used all her energy. She's basically sacrificed herself. Jimmy held the fallen Chidori in his arms. Ah, oh, the music strikes again! I can hear the life. <laughs> pulsing through you. There's too much dying in this game. <laughs> I love it though. It's good. <laughs> now I will live inside you and we'll be together forever. What are you saying? Chidori? Chidori? Oh, we're all experiencing heartbreak, man. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. I'll protect you too. Please! Don't go! <laughs> it feels
feels so nice to be with you. Satori! Ah! Where's the crying beam? Thank you, Junpei. I love you. Oh. <laughs> For the... Oh, God, I can't believe... I can just get away with shooting everyone. The guy's a maniac, for goodness sake. Chidori's lifeless body becomes heavy in Junpei's arms. This can't be happening. Like, where did they go? Did they just fuck off back into Tartarus? What are we doing? Chidori. Chidori, answer me. Oh, Junpei. Buddy. Chidori. What a pity. Such a meaningless death. Well, the, someone shoot this guy. We need our own gun, damn it. That's not an evoker. Meaningless? Hmm? Get him! Kill him! <sighs> Junpei quickly drew his evoker. <sighs> Persona! Oh god, it's gonna be evolved because Chidori's within him now. The resolution in Junpei's heart has awakened a new persona. Oh shit. Yes! Hermes became one with Medea. They gave rise to a new power, Trismegist Trismegistos? Burn in hell! <laughs> yes, please! What? Emulate them! I refuse to... Uh, damn it! My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to reciprocate. Uh, Takaya is smiling eerily, but his knees are shaking. Takaya, don't! Arms weak. Don't forget about your mission! This is just a waste of energy! Come on, I'll kick your ass again. I have something much greater to accomplish. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, I will let you be for now. Well, the, the Dark Hour is here to stay. Aren't you guys happy? This is what you wanted all along. But know that the day I shall finish this is soon approaching. What the hell else do you want? Takaya and Jin turned around and returned to Tartarus. Wait! Junpei tried to stand up but fell down again. Junpei! No, not now, dude. Let's lick our wounds. Let go! I... She entrusted you with this life. Don't waste it. God, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving this voice work right now, man. It's good. It's so good. This scene is... Just... Oh, what a heart-aching episode this has been. Chidori! Junpei gently touched Chidori's cheek. Chidori, I... I... This is so hard. I know, dude. I know. But... It's not just my life anymore. Junpei. <sighs> Everyone was silent as you walked back to the dorm together. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei. But like, what, what do we do? Do we just leave her there at the steps of Tartarus? I've become tired. No shit. Today is Labor Thanksgiving Day. There's no school. There's only grieving. You are tired. You don't seem to be feeling well. Hmm. I wonder who else isn't feeling well. Junpei, where are you? Junpei, are you here? Should I check his room? Junpei seems to be in his room, but he isn't responding. Damn it. <sighs> Guys, what the hell are we supposed to do? We need we need a Gatling gun or something at the very least. We need to fight back against Takai and his stupid-ass revolver.